We're going to do an example of limits multiplying by the conjugate. Um, so we have to solve this limit. And let's do the first thing that I always recommend doing, which is just to plug in the number. So we're going to plug in 4 for x. On top, we'll get 4 minus 4, square root of 4 minus 2. 4 minus 4 is 0. Square root of 4 is 2. Minus 2 is 0. So we get 0 over 0, which means we have to do algebra. So now you have to pick which algebra technique we're going to use on this. And the tip-off is this square root. The fact that I see this square root means we're going to multiply by the conjugate. So I'll remind you of what that means. That means I multiply by a special 1. I multiply by the square root of x plus 2 over the square root of x plus 2. So I copied the thing with the square root and I just flipped the sign. And uh, you'll notice that square root of x plus 2 over square root of x plus 2, that's a fancy way of writing 1. So I'm allowed to do this algebraically. On the top, I'm just going to mash those two things together. That's usually what you want to do. And on the bottom, notice that if I FOIL this out, I'll get square root of x times square root of x is x. I'll get a plus root x, I'll get a plus 2 root x, a minus 2 root x, and they'll cancel. And I'll get minus 2 times plus 2 is minus 4. And look at that. x minus 4 over x minus 4 cancel. I'm left with just square root of x plus 2. And now if I take the limit as x goes to 4, I get the square root of 4 plus 2. I think that's going to be 2.